In this video, we're going to walk, talk and walk through the process of building 6.62 index arm. This is the second object in the Inventor Set 3 drawing assignment. And we're going to start with the back of the part here, this larger round feature that has an outside diameter of 1 and 5 eighths. So we're going to go ahead and start that in Inventor. So to go to Inventor, grab my 2D sketch tool, going to go ahead and select one of the work plane surfaces, grab my circle tool and select and pull. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, create that circle, checking that again, 1 and 5 eighths. So it's going to be 1 space 5 eighths. And now I'm ready to extrude. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my extrude tool, select the inside of this feature, and I'm going to extrude this object to be one and three quarters. So back to Inventor and one space three quarters. All right, now I'm ready to go ahead and get a work surface directly through the center of this part so I can build this part in both directions. The reason I'm building in both directions uh, with extrusion is because this particular elongated feature coming off the front of this part is centered on this one and three quarters feature. So we're going to go ahead and build that from the center out. So I grab my uh, work planes and I'm going to select mid plane between two points or between two planes. I'm going to select the back plane and then the front plane. By doing that, it puts a work plane directly in the center of the part that I can then use to put a 2D sketch on the work plane. With this 2D sketch on the work plane, I can begin to now sketch out some of the geometry I'm going to use to create this interior or this elongated extrusion. So from the center of this particular feature, I'm going to come down an inch and a half and then come over to not sure how far to come up, so I'm just going to draw up and I'll continue to working out from the other direction. So come down inch and a half and over two. So I grab my center line and let's see if it's going to actually give me a projection point. If I sit there, it will project geometry from the outside edge onto my sketch, which gives me a center point. I can now draw down one and a half and then I can come over two and then just going to come back up and let that hang for a second there as far as the length at this point. And I'll grab my line tool again, looking to find center. Center's here, see the green dot, and I'm going to click and start coming out. Now, the distance that I'm going to come out from center is going to be from center point out to what would be the center of this hole, which is three inches. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to Inventor and come out three inches. And now I need to start looking at the distance to come down so if I were to come out at a level plane here to three inches, looking at these dimensions on the front of the part, looks like this one eighth dimension is the dimension that this feature, this boss, is coming up off of the surface. And then I have five eighths coming down to the bottom of the feature here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, my line here again and come down five eighths. And then I'm just going to come back in until these overlap and I'll grab my trim tool and trim the remainder. Now that I have a closed loop, I can go ahead and hit finish sketch. I can grab my extrude tool and select the inside of that feature. And now I can start looking at extruding in both directions. Now, I know that the extrusion is going to be a different size. So I'm going to head back here to my drawing, to my part that I'm making. And I'm going to look to figure out what is the actual size. Well, I can look at the bottom of the part and see 3 eighths, 5 eighths. And I can see this hidden area down here, another 3 eighths. So I can add those fractions. We're going to take a look at this 11 sixteenths radius, which is this outside arc of the end of the part, and do 11 sixteenths uh, radius. So that's going to be radius times 2. So a few things we could do here is quickly do the math. Or I can show you how Inventor is going to go ahead and utilize the addition feature here in your uh, extrusion distance. So I'm going to go ahead and actually type in 11 sixteenths. And I'm just going to then say uh, plus. Whoops. Shift plus and then 11 sixteenths by giving it two pieces of information here uh, with the addition symbol in between you can now see that inventor is going ahead and then creating the proper extrusion so uh, inventor can also be utilized to add dimensions and to create the correct extrusion um, from multiple dimensions so we'll go ahead and hit OK. With that set up, we can now continue the part, and I can look at them making the front of this part, this rounded feature, and this looks like 11 sixteenths. So what we'll do is go ahead and grab my 2D sketch tool and drop a sketch on the top face here, and then go ahead and find center and just draw an arc out here, and I'm going to get a line directly. Whoop, I already have a projected line there, so I can then just go ahead and trim. 
to that point and finish the sketch and then I should be able to extrude straight down from that point and the extrusion is going to be 5 8 there we go so there's the front of the part now I can look at building that center boss up and off of this part by again grabbing a 2d sketch dropping it on the top face circle tool finding it what would then become the concentric circle here and I believe that this part has uh, one inch in diameter coming across the top here so we'll go ahead and do a one inch diameter feature and then finish the sketch and we can now extrude that piece up off of the part so there's an eighth inch extrusion for that now I'm looking to do some subtractive uh, developments here so I need to subtract a piece down off this bottom part so I'll grab my 2d sketch select this front face and I can now sketch in the geometry that I need to cut out so I know I'm going to come over 3 8 then I'm going to come up a quarter over 5 8 and then back down to create a closed loop so I'm going to grab uh, this corner piece and space myself over 3 8 and I'm going to come up a quarter and then across 5 8 back down and then I'm going to just close this up so I have a closed loop go ahead and finish the sketch and I can then do a negative extrusion here so instead of coming turn this so we can see it instead of going in a positive direction we're going to go negative and I'm just going to tell it say um, all so it actually cuts this fully out of the part so hit OK and now I have the bottom slot taken care of here next thing I have to do is just a few holes uh, quickly so I'll go ahead and take care of this larger hole this hole would be then a ream operation and I have tolerances of 0 0.875 0 0.873 so I'm going to go and select that 0 0.875 as my uh, hole to work with so grab my hole tool I'm gonna then utilize the uh, placement for concentric so I'm gonna grab the face and then grab my concentric reference which is the outside edge and then just change the diameter here so it's gonna be 0 0.875 and that's been set up and the distance I want to do is go through all so the termination will be through all so it goes through the whole part and then I just hit uh, hit OK now I'm looking to set up the holes that are going to go through the center of this part here. And I know I can do a concentric reference for this particular feature. So I'll do that quickly with a hole. Uh, grab concentric reference, select plane, and then go ahead and select that concentric reference next. And then now I need to have the diameter of that particular feature hole. And it looks like 7 16 drill, two holes. There's one here, and then I assume that this would be the second. So 7 16 is going to be the uh, diameter. All right, so that takes care of that. The second hole I need to place here is uh, on the face of the part, and it's 1 and 5 eighths from the center of this feature. So I just need to find a placement uh, situation here. So I'm going to go back into Inventor, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a 2D sketch, place it on the face, and I'm just going to use a line to then find how I'm going to go ahead and find the center from this point over, which is going to be 1 and 5 eighths. And at the end of that line is where I'm going to then create my next hole. So I'll grab my hole tool and I'm going to find this from sketch placement. And I grab that point. And this is 7 16 again. This is the second hole. It's through all, which is now the correct termination. And hit OK. So except for some fillets, we're pretty much done the part. So let's go ahead and work on creating some fillets. And on here, it gives me a note that all fillets. Uh, fillets and rounds are an eighth of so setting this up with the fillet tool with uh, eighth of an inch I'm going to grab my fillet tool let's make sure it's set up to be eighth inch which looks like it was already so now I'm going to come through and I'm going to start selecting features make sure the selection tab is on and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and select this rounded edge feature I'm going to grab the other section rounded edge feature I'm going to just take a look at that sometimes when you fill two rounded edge features together, it may not look correct. So you may need to cycle through a few times to get the proper orientation or create two different fillets. You may have to fill at the top first and then, of course, this uh, rounded feature, especially if they blend in together. So they look like they're blending together just fine as my preview. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to then select the uh, fillet down around that uh, particular part. Uh, I'm going to come across the top and then go ahead and rotate the object to the other side and grab the last filleted area so now that that's set up that looks like the fillets that I'm going to need for my part now and I'll hit apply and cancel so as I just take another quick look to make sure the fillets all look good uh, I can be assured that uh, the part is accurate so now it's that all all taken care of I can go ahead and save my part 
and then get ready to lay out a multi-view drawing on my title block.